welcome back to my channel so today we're going to learn a new stitch which is called the astro cluster stitch you can use a yarn of your choice I'm using a hundred percent cotton yarn over here and this is in the color green gray also I'm using a three millimeter hook for this video so to begin with we're going to make a slip knot if you don't know how to make these basic stitches i have a separate series for the same and i'll be linking it in the description box below so once we are done making a slip knot we are going to chain in the multiple of six plus three We'll be making a row of double crochets on top of this chain stitches. So we are going to yarn over the hook and we are going to insert our hook in the fourth chain from the hook. So we are going to leave these three chains and insert our hook in the fourth chain. Now we'll yarn over and pull through the loop. We'll be left with three loops on our hook. We'll yarn over and pull through two loops. We'll again yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. So this is our first double crochet. And we are going to make another double crochet in the next chain. So we'll insert a hook, yarn over, insert, insert a hook in the next chain. Yarn over, pull through. We'll be left with three loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And we are going to do this in every chain. So I'll just complete my row of double crochets and I'll see you at the end of this row. Here we are at the end of our double crochet row and we are going to make a last double crochet stitch so we'll yarn over and insert a hook in that last chain we'll yarn over pull through then we'll yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through the remaining two loops so this is how our row of double crochets should look like and now we are going to make a second row on top of this double crochet row for that we'll chain one and turn around and we are going to make a single crochet stitch on top of the first stitch so for that we'll insert our chain in that first stitch yarn over pull through and we'll be left with two loops then we'll yarn over pull through the remaining two loops so this is a single crochet stitch after that we are going to chain two and we are we are going to make a double crochet in the third chain so we'll leave the two chains and we're going to make a double crochet in that third stitch over there. Chain two after this. And we are going to make another double crochet in that same stitch. So we are going to make a V-stitch over here. So this row is basically a combination of V-stitches and chains. After that, we are again going to chain two. We will leave the next two stitches and we'll make a single crochet in that third stitch over there. So we're going to insert a hook in that third chain, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through both the loops. So this is our first set of chains and V stitch. So we'll again continue making two chains we'll leave two stitches and make a double crochet in that third stitch we'll chain two again and we are going to make another double crochet in that same stitch 
so we'll make another double crochet in that same stitch and this is going to give us a V stitch now we'll chain two again and we are going to make a single crochet in that third stitch over there so this is our second set so here we are at the end of our row and we'll chain two and we're going to make a double crochet in the third stitch so we will make a double crochet in the third stitch now we'll chain two and we are going to make another double crochet in that same stitch so we'll make another double crochet in that same stitch and this is going to give us a V stitch after that we are going to chain two again and we are going to make a single crochet in the third stitch which will be the last stitch of our row so once complete our second row should somewhat look like this be making the third row for that we'll have to chain two and we'll turn around and we'll make two more chains so in total we'll have a uh, four chains here and now we are going to work in that V stitch over there so what we'll do is we'll yarn over the hook and we'll insert a hook in that V stitch right over there We'll yarn over pull through that V stitch and we're going to pull through to a height of a double crochet now we'll be left with three loops on a hook we'll yarn over pull through two loops now we'll be left with two loops on a hook we'll yarn over the hook and we're going to insert a hook in that V stitch again and we'll yarn over pull through to a height of a double crochet again we'll yarn over and pull through two loops now we'll be left with three loops on a hook we'll again yarn over the hook we're going to insert it in the V stitch and pull through to the height of a double crochet and we'll yarn over pull through two loops now we'll be having a total of four loops on a hook now we'll yarn over and pull through all the four loops and we'll yarn over and make a slip stitch over there We'll again make one more chain and this is our first cluster stitch we are going to make two such cluster stitches in that V stitch over there so we'll again yarn over pull through two loops we'll again yarn over and pull through we'll yarn over pull through two loops be left with three loops we'll again yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops we'll again be left with four loops on our hook yarn over pull through all the four loops and chain one and again we'll chain one so this is our second cluster stitch and we're going to make another cluster stitch in that same V stitch so we are going to make a set of three cluster stitches in each of the V stitches here. So we're making our last cluster stitch over here. We'll be remaining four loops. We'll yarn over and pull through all the four loops, and we're going to chain. This is how it will look like. We'll chain one again and now we are going to work our stitches in that second V stitch over there. So we'll yarn over, insert a hook in that second V stitch and pull through to a height of a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We'll again yarn over insert a hook in the V stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and we're going to 
going to again do it for the last time we'll be left with four stitches on our loop hook we'll yarn over pull through all the four stitches and we'll chain one we'll chain one again and we're going to make another cluster stitch in that same V stitch so this is how our row three will look like so our row three is basically all cluster stitches So we are going to make three cluster stitches in each of the V stitches across the row and I'll see you at the end of this third row. So here we are at the end of our third row and we have made three cluster stitches in that last V stitch. Now we are going to chain one and we are going to make a double crochet in that last stitch over there. So in that single crochet stitch we're going to make a double crochet so that is going to be the end of our third row. So once our third row is complete it should somewhat look like this. And now we're going to make a fourth row on top of this third row for that we'll chain two again and we'll turn around and we're going to make two more chains over here so we'll have a total of four chains at the beginning of our fourth row and we're going to make a double crochet in that gap between the two cluster stitches so we're going to basically make a double crochet in each of the gaps. So we'll first make a double crochet in the gap between the two cluster stitches. So here is our double crochet. First double. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to make a double crochet in that next gap between the two cluster stitches. Now we'll chain one again and we're going to make a double crochet in that next gap over there and we'll chain one again and we're going to make a double crochet in the gap between the two cluster stitches so this is how we are going to make the fourth row we're going to make a double crochet in each of the gaps So I'll see you at the end of this row. So here we are at the end of our fourth row. We'll chain one and we're going to make a last double crochet in that gap over there. So we'll make a last double crochet and this is how our fourth row should look like. Once done. Now we'll be making a fifth row for that we'll have to chain two and we're going to turn around and we're going to chain one so we'll have a total of three chains and we are going to make a double crochet in that gap between the two double crochets so we'll make a double crochet over here and we're going to make another double crochet in that next 
double on top of that next double crochet so this is basically a row of double crochets and similar to our first row so we are going to make double crochets in each of the gaps between the two double crochets and one on top of each double crochets so here we are at the end of our fifth row and we're going to make a double crochet in that last gap over there and we are going to make another double crochet in the third chain of that chain 3 which we have made initially so we'll be making our last double crochet in that third chain so this is actually the exact same as the first row that we made and once done it should somewhat look like this here we have completed our second row and once done it should somewhat look like this thanks for watching my video if you do like my video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Happy crocheting!